In the last video, we talked about projecting a vector onto another vector. I kept it simple in my notation, but if we think about it, technically, what we were doing was not projecting onto another vector, but projecting onto the subspace generated by that vector. We were finding a scalar multiple of that vector, and the subspace generated by a single vector is just all scalar multiples of that vector. So we can generalize that by projecting onto any subspace of Rn. And the way we do that, well, for each vector y, we can write it as that vector is y hat plus z vector, where we're going to say that the y hat is the part of y that's in the subspace, and z vector is perpendicular to that subspace. In fact, if we have an orthogonal basis, orthonormal basis makes it easier, but it works for any orthogonal basis, we can find that projection onto the subspace, the y hat, by doing exactly what we did for projecting onto a vector just for each of those different basis vectors and adding them up. And then once we have that, we can go ahead and find the perpendicular part by just subtracting. Taking the original vector, subtracting the part that's in W, whatever remains has to be the part that's in W perpendicular. Talking about it abstractly like that is pretty difficult, so let's go through an example. Let's say that W is a subspace of R3, which is the span of the vectors 1, 1, 1, and 2, 3, negative 5. Well, first thing, it is worth noting that these vectors are orthogonal. If I take their dot product, I get 2 plus 3 minus 5 is 0. When the dot product is 0, those vectors are orthogonal. So I want to go ahead and take this 2, 0, negative 3, and write it as something that's in W plus something that's in W perpendicular. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to take the dot product of the vector I'm looking for, the 2, 0, negative 3, and I'm dotting it with each of my basis vectors. But more than that, I'm then dividing by the norm of that basis vector squared or just taking the dot product of that vector with itself. So in this case, I've got 2 plus 0 minus 3 is negative 1 over 1 plus 1 plus 1. I've got a negative 1 third. Do the same thing with the other one. I start with my 2, 0, negative 3, and I'm dotting it with the 2, 3, negative 5 over the 2, 3, negative 5, dotted with itself. 4 plus 0 plus 15 is 19. 4 plus 9 plus 25 is 38, which simplifies to 1 half. So, with this, what we have, my y hat, the part of y that's in W, that's in that span, is negative one third times one 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 plus one half times the two three negative five. These are the coefficients of those basis vectors. So that gives me negative one third, negative one third, negative one third and plus 1 3 halves negative 5 halves. From there it's just a little bit of fraction math getting some common denominators and we've got that my y hat negative 1 third plus 3 thirds is 2 thirds negative 2 sixths plus 9 sixths is 7 sixths negative 2 sixths minus 15 sixths is negative 17 sixths. So that vector there is in my 
subspace W. And that's important. In fact, this is probably the important part. There are certain applications where knowing what that thing is is really important. But just as important, and in my mind more interesting, is what's the remainder stuff? What's left over after this vector? The z vector part is my original y vector minus my y hat. So my original y vector was the 2, 3, 2, 0, negative 3, minus my y hat is 2 thirds, 7 sixths, negative 17 sixths. 6 thirds minus 2 thirds gives us 4 thirds, 0 minus 7 sixths. Negative 18 sixths minus a negative 17 sixths is a negative 1 sixth. Now, how can I check that this is in W perpendicular? I can check that that's in W perpendicular by being sure that it's perpendicular to my basis elements. If it's perpendicular to both of these things, if the dot product with those is zero, I know it's in the perpendicular thing. So if I take my one, one, one dotted with the four thirds, negative seven sixths, negative one sixth, I get four thirds minus seven sixths minus one sixth. 8 sixths minus 7 sixths minus 1 sixth is 0. My other basis element was 2, 3, negative 5. If I dot that with the 4 thirds, negative 7 sixths, negative 1 sixth, a little tougher, I get 8 thirds or 16 sixths minus 21 sixths plus 5 sixths again gives me 0. So there we go. Just by doing some dot products, some ratios, and yeah, a good amount of fraction math, we can decompose that vector. We can take any vector of yn, break it down into a part that's in w and a part that's in w perpendicular.